Fear. It's there for a reason. It keeps us alive. You might be afraid of heights, or spiders, or snakes, or tight spaces. If you're claustrophobic, don't watch this. This is the story of John Edward Jones and the worst death imaginable. John Edward Jones was a handsome and very bright medical student and a father of one. He went caving with friends and family in Utah at Nutty Putty Cave, November 24th of 2009. But he never came back. The cave isn't far from Salt Lake City, and it's known for tight winding passages, but it's also been thought to be extraordinarily safe for beginners. Jones and his brother were not beginners. They were both experienced, and soon after they got to the cave, the group split in two. The kids and the adults that didn't have very much spelunking experience went to the easier parts of the cave, while Jones and his brother went deeper. They were looking for a series of winding passages called the birth canal, but somehow they got it wrong. They were in a completely different part of the cave. If his calculations had been correct, all he would have to do is push forward and it would open up into a large cavern where he could turn around and come back out. But he was wrong. The passage that he was going in was unmanageable. It was only about 10 inches and he forced himself in until he got stuck. He called out to his brother who wasn't too far behind and his brother tried his best to pull him out. Unfortunately, when he did so, he slipped farther down. John couldn't go backwards, and now he was stuck to where he could not even get a full breath of air. His feet were above him, his hands were caught underneath his chest, and he was pinned to the rock, unable to move at all. His brother was horrified by the panic in John's voice, so he went the 400 feet or so back to get help. It took three hours before the first responder came, a woman by the name of Susie. She saw that it was desperate right away. John was calm at first, but that soon began to change. A hundred rescuers tried to get to him, but only one at a time could get in, and things were getting worse. After 19 hours, they rigged up a pulley system, and it began to work, but something went wrong. The pulley broke, and John slipped down farther than before. He began to panic and lose control. They called John's wife, and she talked to him, he promised that he would live to be there for their family. Unfortunately, it was a promise that John would not keep. At the 25 hour mark, he stopped responding and he died. They sealed the cave as his tomb and it is off limits to all now.